What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. Today we're going to be taking yet another journey to the far side of the world to watch a sovereign citizen Karen get arrested. Very slowly, I might add. I don't have to give you a reason. Legally, you do. Yeah. No, I don't. Um, right, do you have any ID? No, I don't. Do you know how to turn your phone sideways? No, I don't. No surprise there. What's your details? I'm not prepared to give them to you. Are we under arrest? No. Well, the well, issue is you are committing an offence. Yeah, if you don't mm. give us No, we're not charge. committing an offence. That's my opinion! You are required by law to provide your name and address. Which law is that? Uh, it's a Commonwealth offence. Okay. <laughs> Which one? It's, it's Commonwealth law. Can you show me that one? Well, I've had no, I don't need before. to show you. I just informed you. It's actually not Commonwealth law. It, you don't actually... know what you're talking about right now. Okay. Well, either way, you are required to provide your details. No, I am not. I know what I'm talking about. I would not be arguing with you, sir. You're a sovereign citizen and a Karen. All you know how to do is argue. I would be... I'm telling you the facts. I don't need to give you anything. Have I committed a crime? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a criminal matter now for not wearing a mask. Yes, correct. <laughs> So you can arrest okay. Will you will you arrest us? Technically. You can? Yeah, can Until we can confirm ID. Yeah, okay. We We're not prepared to give you ID. <laughs> oh yes, I perish the thought that I obey the law. We're, we're, we're gonna have to place you under arrest if okay. you don't give us ID. Say that again? We're gonna have to place you under arrest if you do not give us ID. And what's your name, sir? My name's Jared. Jared Thank you. Right there, and Phil Gibby. Okay. Can I have your details in writing, please? Of course. And so I would you like you? your your um, numbers and the gut yeah. and the place of work so um we will give that i'll just have a chat to my son give me one thank second. you I'll explain what's going on no here. worries but it is a 200 hundred dollar ticket uh, for whatever you want to do you do wear a mask but i will i do not consent you don't consent to what he's about to do right after you just said he can do what he wants to do is this just a genetic thing with you is it congenital did you did your mother drop you on your head when you were a the baby buzzer. you do um, arrest us. Mm -hmm. you, we will be suing you okay. uh, for armed kidnapping. Oh, there's a big surprise! Fair enough. The offence of today is because you are not wearing your mask in a public place. Yeah. Which came into effect from midnight last night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's not a law, it is just a ruling. Because you have committed an offence, yeah. you are required by law yeah. to provide your details. No. <laughs> No, I haven't committed an offence. Which which offence is that? Not wearing a mask in a public place. Which is a that's dollar. It came out just a few hours ago. Which is a twenty. Well, the offence started. Can you not prove last that? Because the onus is on you to prove that it's actually an offence. We can't the just go around knowing every law. The offence. Yes. Okay. And I'm telling you, it is an offence. Okay. That is enough. So you don't make any exceptions. That is enough. Then? Pardon? You don't make any exceptions. No, we so do. We, we, use we use discretion. We use discretion. No, no, we use discretion. But your attitude has been horrible, and you guys are it's committing It's horrible. Offense. Uh, dot dot dot. Yes. Yes. I've been I've been telling you what it is. I haven't been horrible. I haven't sworn at you. Mm -hmm. I haven't uh, been nasty. Okay. I've, I've, I've told you the concerns as to why you can't use a mask. Then that's fine. But that, that, that's not what you provided oh. us with today. Yeah. Okay. So you've had you've right. had no reason to not wear a mask. In right. Place. What about not knowing about it? No. Wait. Well, you haven't stated that at all. You I've stated you guys have you said it came out last night. All right. Yes. There's no exception to that. It's an irrebuttable fact. Is that okay. everyone is presumed to know. You're going to have to wait until I get my lawyer. It's nice to know that it's not just America where people are idiotic enough to try to argue their case there on the roadside rather than, I don't know, in a court of law. Um, so yeah, because you have committed an offence today and you are required by law to state your name and address and you are refusing to provide your details, you are under arrest for that. Until we can confirm ID. Okay. okay, so how, do, how are you going to confirm ID? Uh, well, there's several ways. We can take you back to the police station. We can make inquiries there. How would you take us back there? Sorry? How would you take us back there? We'll just come there? up for a unit, get a divisional van to come out here. Okay. I could drive there. Because right, you're under arrest. Oh, we're under, we're under arrest. Yes. You're As under arrest now? from the minute that I inform you that you're under arrest. Sorry? You're under arrest from the minute that I inform you that you're under arrest, which I did that several minutes ago. So we are under arrest? To confirm ID, yes. Really? Seriously, lady, do try to keep up. So we Did do not consent to, to be taken. Okay. We do not be. We do not consent to um, be taken anywhere. Um, 
If you're saying that we're under arrest, can you tell me exactly for what reason again? I feel like we've been here before. Have we been here before? You are required by law to state your name and address so that we can confirm ID. You have refused to state that. You're but that's not a law. I don't have to give you my details. I'm just a you citizen are. walking around okay. and at this point, okay. your job is to make sure that we are safe. And I can see you're carrying guns, both of you. Yes. So you are now, you know, I'm fearing for my life. Nobody cares. Nobody. And you need to shut up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a divisional van to come out here and we'll transport you back to the police station. We'll check your photos on the system and see if that recognizes anything uh, until we can confirm ID. Okay? Right. Do you have any questions? I do not consent to that and I will be suing you personally. Yeah. And you personally. Not your department. They'll hear about it. But you will both be personally sued for $60,000 each. Okay. And he will be suing you for $60,000 each. Well, good luck with that. Do you want to continue? Yes, yes. You want to continue? Yes. Great. Let's go. Okay. Unfortunately, that's where the video ends, but I think it's safe to assume that Miss Sovereign Citizen Karen went to jail. It's funny that that script can make its way around the world, and what a surprise, it still doesn't work. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what country you live in, being an idiot is still being an idiot, and breaking the law still gets you arrested. But then again... Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you see here and you want me to see me look at even more stupid people in the future, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Till next time.